One of the things that makes a good demonstration is involving students. If you can involve a student in a demonstration, they can remember that for the rest of their life, especially if it's a bizarre one. There's a quote here, I, it's attributed to Benjamin Franklin, and it's slightly different from one that's attributed to a Chinese philosopher. It says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I learn, involve me and I remember. So try to get the students involved with a demonstration or certainly with hands-on labs, do that for sure. Um, one way I get them involved is I have in front of my desk, when I taught for 30 some years high school, I had a desk in front of my lab bench. This would be a lab bench, and we don't have a desk there because we need these camera shots. So I would have equipment out there, or material out there every day, and I'd try to change it a couple of two or three times a week. So I brought some of the, my favorite things that I've saved over the years. Now some of these are probably antiques to many of you, um, but let me just show you. And I, I don't even know why I own some of these. Sometimes students would bring these in and go, my parents got this as a Christmas gift. Do you want it? It's a Kleenex holder. It's a very nice thing. And the cool thing is if you press the buttons, they make little sounds. That's the gargling, that's the mouthwash. Here's the hairdryer. Here's the mirror. Here's the toilet. Now, who wouldn't want something like this? I don't know what kind of science is involved, but just having manipulatives like this on your desk, collect them over time, put them out. The kids actually may get to class on time so they can play with something like this. Um, this one's a little more scientific. See, there's these two little things here. You can make a conductivity tester out of this. If you put wires in there with solutions, it goes oink. It used to. The this is old. It goes oink, 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 and you know, that kid in the back row that can't hear you. You know, this is a voice changing device. I don't know. This is, here's another one. <laughs> this, they re this is one they really loved. It's a uh, insulter device. Okay, so you've got one of those, and you know, that's nice. You have that special student, or, or I can't say administrator. If you had that special student that keeps bugging you, this is a coffee cup. I don't know where I'd use this. <laughs> I probably wouldn't really, well, maybe. Uh, this, this is real. You can buy this in stores in Chicago, and they are serious about that. This is highest quality lucky mojo. And there's like a scientist on there. And you're supposed to sprinkle it in the corners of your house. Um, the kids, I said, is, is this real? This is, they're serious about this. Here's a book. Everything you need to know about women. Oh, the guys come in and go, oh, cool. And then when they open it up, it's blank. Everything men know about women, all right. How about that multiple choice test? They come up to you and they go, you know, I'm having a trouble here. Do you really mean A, B, C? What do, you, what do you mean by this? I said, I don't know, ask the eight ball. This takes all the off of you. They can go up and shake the eight ball and find out. Uh, uh, now, many of them don't know what the eight ball is. They, everything's electronics nowadays. So a number of years ago, I found Wake the Wizard. I said, don't come up and bug me about your test. This works. Ask the wizard. Good question. <laughs> It's not in the card. It doesn't look good. Use magic. <laughs> it will come to pass. Too bad you Use won't. Magic. <laughs> okay, I think we've had enough of that. Um, various things like that, or that was a good question, you know, and you've got these different sound effects. No, you don't want to hear me rapping. Um, this thing, we don't care about. This, this is good to uh, have on your desk. They don't sell this in Illinois. It's more of a southern dish. Uh, it's pork brains and milk gravy. I'm going to read the label to you. The thing that I like about it, it does contain pork brains, 
But it, the percentages, when you're talking about percentages and don't think your kids understand percentages, you, you may think they learned that in math, but I got a hot flash for you. That may not be the case. This contains 3,190 milligrams of cholesterol. Um, if you work that out, that's 1,060% of your daily requirement of cholesterol with one serving of this. And, and, you know, that's a lot of fat, folks. And so when you call somebody a fathead, you're not uh, far off. Now, having this stuff out, one of these per day is good. The other part of my desk, this part, the lab bench, they're not supposed to touch. That's what this is all about. Now, this is uh, a do not touch bottle. I've got two versions here. I have the uh, homemade one or the one you can purchase. This I set on the desk up here in the part they're not supposed to touch. And you, if sometimes you have to go out in the hall and you know what they're going to do. You do this early and you get a kid comes in, he's not around. I'm going to open this up. <laughs> Gee whiz. Uh, notice there's three streams. If you rub your fingers across that, you can sometimes make the streams come together. See that? Oh, two of them are together. We have surface tension. Now, when you make this, just so you can see how to make that, let me close that up and we can talk a little bit about it. You make it, you just get a pop bottle. Now, I don't use the yellow food coloring in class because, you know, you wouldn't want to stain their clothes and it does hit in the right area to annoy the students. Uh, especially, they don't even have to touch it. They, well, they're nailed. You know who did it because they're sitting down, you know, whatever. Take a paper clip, heat it up, and make these close together because you want these three holes to be close together because you also want to talk about the surface tension that's involved. When you bring these two, hydrogen bonding surface tension can make these streams come together. Uh, right now, it's the pressure on the outside and the inside are the same, but when I open it up, I let the air come down, so that's on top. And if you let this run for a while, you will notice the stream becomes weaker and weaker. By that, I mean it doesn't go as far because there's less pressure head on due to the water above that. So there's a do not open bottle. Let's open the other one and see. I made these holes slightly different. Don't make the holes too big. These I made a little bit closer so I can get the stream to come together better. There, those two did. And make sure you have your hands, uh, no detergent on your hands, or there. Eh, two of them are. This third one's a little bit further away. Let me do it once more. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you can actually use this as a teaching device, too. So this is the do not open bottle. And I would have this on my desk, on my lab bench, as opposed to the desk where they're supposed to be able to touch the things.